signals from deep space, mysterious crop circles, messages hidden in the very building blocks of our planet. Since the dawn of time, humans have looked to the heavens and studied nature in an effort to understand our place in the universe. But one elusive question remains. Are we alone? People have seen UFOs. People have even seen extraterrestrials. But to communicate with an alien, that would ultimately be the key to unlocking the secrets of life in the universe. Some believe we have been receiving extraterrestrial messages for millennia. Recent evidence may reveal signs of alien life attempting to communicate. Are they goodwill ambassadors or masters of war? And are we even capable of understanding? Join us as we expose what may be the most devastating alien messages for all mankind on Unsealed Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Colorado Springs, Colorado, 1899. Nikola Tesla, one of the pioneers of modern electricity, tests a device he hopes will harness the power of lightning produced by a thunderstorm. The machine is receiving radio signals as he tracks the storm in an attempt to better understand weather patterns. Suddenly, a bizarre series of signals are received by Tesla's machine. Allegedly, the signals are no longer static-covered blips. Two voices, speaking in a strange language, become audible. Tesla described the event as one planet greeting another. At the time of Tesla's signal interception, the world was no stranger to UFO activity. In 1896, there was a rash of reported sightings in the Los Angeles area. This happened years before LAX was ever a dream. Human flight had not even taken place yet. Whatever was in the skies above our heads was absolutely unexplainable. The signals received by Nikola Tesla's machine are thought to be the earliest recorded communication with an alien intelligence in the mechanical age. Did Tesla accidentally communicate with aliens? Those first signals laid the groundwork for an obsession that has haunted humanity ever since. The largest and most complex attempt to communicate with extraterrestrial life began in the 1960s. Named SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, the organization was funded by the American government until 1995. From their radio telescope at the Arecibo station in Puerto Rico, SETI broadcasts its signal reaching 25,000 light years into deep space. When we decided to send a message to the heavens in hopes to communicate with an alien civilization, binary code was decided by scientists because it really is that universal language. So when we sent the Arecibo message to the heavens, we gave details about where we were in the universe, uh, what our human DNA was like, and some other details about who we are as humanity. It was the most powerful message we've ever sent. Along with the Arecibo message, NASA launches four probes carrying earthly greetings, an unusual course of action for an agency that reportedly denies the existence of aliens. Soon after, Voyager 1 and 2 are also launched, carrying 12-inch gold records containing greetings in Earth languages and information on human civilization. The messages have been sent, but are experts really prepared for an answer? Unsealed case file. The WOW signal. Ohio State University, August 15th, 1977. SETI is shocked to receive a brief burst of radio waves at 11.16 p.m. The signal is recorded at 30 times louder than naturally occurring deep space signals. It is tracked for 72 seconds before it disappears. The unexpected burst of sound from space is so rare, the message is dubbed the WOW signal by one of the technicians on duty that day. The wow signal was dismissed as an anomaly. The fact that it never occurred again led many to believe it may have been simple equipment malfunction or human error. But recent evidence suggests a constant signal is unlikely to occur. The amount of energy required to beam the signal would be immense, which is exactly why SETI now sends bursts like the wow signal back into space. But has there been another signal since the one in 1977? 
or has SETI been in constant contact with alien life forms ever since? In 1997, SETI discovered another extraterrestrial signal. It was tracked for over 13 hours until an official statement was released, stating the signal was a European satellite. But was that really the case? Prominent ufologist Dr. Stephen Greer believes otherwise. Greer stated in a 2006 interview, they have had numerous extraterrestrial signals. The signals were so numerous that they began to have their systems externally jammed by some sort of human agency that did not want them to continue receiving those signals. What government agency could possibly be responsible for covering up a message from an alien world? And what would they stand to gain from keeping the public in the dark? Coming up, are aliens trying to make contact? Or has their message already arrived? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Communication with alien intelligence has become an obsession for many in the UFO community. Answering the question, are we alone, is paramount to many UFO investigations. But one answer may have already arrived. Unsealed case file, Rendlesham Forest. Early in the morning of the 27th of December, 1980, two United States Air Force security patrolmen saw unusual lights outside the back gates at RAF Woodbridge. Sergeants John Burroughs and Jim Penniston investigate. They discover a strange glowing craft on the forest floor, covered in bizarre writing. The air around the object was electrified. It was like dancing to our skin and our clothes. At that point in time, I knew it was an aircraft crash. I knew I had an unknown object in front of me. Penniston is compelled to reach out and touch the symbols etched into the side of the craft. A decision that would change his life forever. I took my hand and ran them over the bottom symbols all the way across. It felt like going from the smoothness of the uh, metal to like feeling sandpaper on each of them. Out of all the glyphs, there was one that was larger than all the other ones. And so I decided to go ahead and then touch that one. When I touched that symbol, I had an explosion of, of white light uh, where I couldn't see, I was blinded. And I uh, started seeing ones and zeros flashing. They were like inside my uh, mind's eye. The two sergeants report the incident and describe how the UFO vanished into the night sky. Sometime later, Penniston transcribes the message that was burned into his brain. Computers were in their infancy at the time Penniston received this telepathic message. It would be years before he would finally realize the ones and zeros were a common computer language that could be translated. Binary code. In 2012, I was given six pages from Jim Penniston's notebook. They contained binary, and I was asked to see if there was a message contained inside. So I was skeptical I'd find anything in these binary notebook pages, but I started typing the ones and zeros into my computer, running them through my translator, and I was shocked to find a short message. Once decoded, the Penniston message reads, Exploration of Humanity for Continuous Planetary Advance. A chill ran down my spine. I was honestly not expecting to find anything in the binary. And here was what appeared to be a message that would come from aliens if they were trying to communicate with us. Coordinates also accompanied the message. They indicate a location off the coast of Ireland known as High Brazil, the site of a legendary sunken island similar to the lost continent of Atlantis. The island still exists, but now lies more than 2,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Did Penniston receive a direct telepathic message from the alien craft? And what is the significance of the sunken island that lies off Ireland's coast? Experts are still wrestling with these questions today. But not all messages from extraterrestrial sources are as cryptic as the Rendlesham incident. Some are displayed for all the world to see. Crop circles have fascinated experts since they were first noticed in the 1970s. Over 26 countries reported more than 10,000 crop circles toward the end of the 20th century. They appear quickly and mysteriously in often very intricate patterns and designs. What are these geometric patterns trying to tell us? Famous Russian cosmonaut Marina Popovich and her scientist colleagues Victoria Popova and Lydia Andrianova believe they have decoded the crop circles message. 
their translation reveals a chilling warning to humanity of impending disaster. They claim the circles speak of the impact man has had on the biosphere and the catastrophic effects on the Earth's magnetic field is reaching a critical point. They believe the circles can tell us how we can escape this fate. Are crop circles apocalyptic warnings? Coming up, is there two-way communication between an alien species and humans? And if so, who is speaking on our behalf? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Messages captured by radio telescopes and alarming warnings in deciphered crop circles may be signs of alien life. Are extraterrestrials trying to reach out to us? And why have they come to us now? The technological leaps made by geniuses like Nikola Tesla in the late 1800s were only the beginning. Our scientific advancement is moving at an alarming pace and shows no signs of slowing. Is there extraterrestrial concern about our scientific progress? What might be their long-term fall human life? What might be their long-term plans for Earth? The answer may be found in a disturbing set of rules etched into one of the most mysterious stone monuments in America. Unsealed case file. The Georgia Guidestones. These guidelines have proven extremely controversial, causing speculation and mystery that go far beyond Northeast Georgia. They were built by human hands, but were they designed with an alien agenda in mind? Commissioned by a man using the alias R.C. Christian in 1979, the Georgia Guidestones still stand outside Elbert County, Georgia, 90 miles east of Atlanta. Inscribed on the massive stones are messages for humanity. Let these be guidestones to an age of reason. Many of the writings speak of living in harmony with the earth and each other. But further inscriptions depict an age of reason that is based on an ominous agenda. Guide reproduction wisely. Unite humanity with a living new language. Maintain humanity under 500 million. In perpetual balance with nature. The current population of the Earth is over 7 billion. Does this age of reason begin with a massive genocide to limit the Earth's population to 500 million? One of the assumptions about an alien invasion of planet Earth is, it's very basic. If you're going to invade a place, why would you wreck the place you're going to invade? Right? So why would you bomb something to rubble, use lasers, use photon bombs, use whatever exotic weapons you want to use to simply wipe the planet out. Why do that? This is a planet you want. Why destroy it? What's the point? Some experts believe the best method to destroy large swaths of the Earth's population would be by an alien plague. We bombard the planet in various areas with meteors, with objects from outer space, in which which you know will decompose by entering the Earth's atmosphere on the least certain kinds of gases and kill segments of the population. Similar to Stonehenge, the Georgia Guidestones are aligned with the stars. Are the stones alignment to the heavens an alien message warning humanity? While many experts have been looking out into the universe to find possible messages of alien design, some scientists have been drilling down into the very fabric of life's building blocks. Researchers in Kazakhstan decoded what they believe is a message embedded in our very DNA. A recent online news article reports scientists who claim that human DNA is ordered so precisely that it reveals an ensemble of arithmetical and ideographical patterns of symbolic language which leads them to conclude that humans may have been invented outside the solar system. They refer to this discovery as a biological SETI. The mathematical code in human DNA cannot be explained by evolution. We are living, breathing vessels for some kind of alien message. This evidence suggests the very building blocks of life on Earth originated or were designed from outside our solar system. Alien-human hybridization is when 
extraterrestrials have taken human DNA and somehow been able to pair it with their own in order to procreate. Because a lot of these beings are sterile. Is planet Earth part of a larger galactic agenda beyond the current scope of scientific understanding? We have these sacred texts, you know, the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, and in those we have representations of things that are extremely supernatural. Mixed in with all of the cultural traditions of indigenous populations and large civilizations like Sumeria, we have an unbroken record of some sort of contact from beyond the stars from the very beginning of humanity. Coming up, many ufologists believe that the current modern wave of alien messages may be building to a mind-bending revelation. Will it forever change life on Earth? Are we even on Earth? at all this is unsealed alien files exposing the biggest secret on planet earth welcome back to unsealed alien files the time to act is now tell us your story get involved in the fight to unseal the truth now humans have received messages from extraterrestrials since the dawn of time but shocking new evidence suggests what many modern ufologists have been anticipating. An alien message that might be the final piece of the puzzle. Recent revelations of Kazakhstan scientists illustrate that our genetic structure defies a natural explanation. Is the very biological mechanism of our evolution merely a path designed by an alien hand? So one theory is that E.T. human encounters began when E.T. themselves manipulated the DNA of three early hominids. And they manipulated it to create a structure because they were creating a race of people who were going to do their bidding, the use of tools, and the use of language. If we have been designed, is it possible the very environment we occupy is also a construct? Is humanity part machine? Or are we simply inside one? Some experts believe our entire universe might exist in a kind of biological hard drive. And that Earth and all life on it is nothing more than a sophisticated extraterrestrial software program. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.